It's AC The Plug here with Radio One, sitting here with Tito Ortiz, the man who's built this sport to what it is today. Wow. Former UFC light heavyweight champion, looking to make history again with Bellator MMA as the light heavyweight champion of the world. How are you doing today? I'm doing really, really good. Um, Got to cut a little more weight. Uh, get down to 205. I'm about 215 right now, so you know, 10 pounds ain't that much for me. Uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited too. Now, I definitely don't doubt your skill in the ring, so I would like to talk about uh, some more important things. In an interview, you stated that your hidden talent or thing that people don't know about you is you love to dance. You have these incredible dance moves. What kind of dance moves do you have? I don't say incredible dance moves. <laughs> I, I dance well. Um, you know, me and Amber like to dance a lot when we go to Vegas. Uh, do you have a go-to dance move? Is it a fist pump? Is it a two-step? Oh, step? never fist pump. Uh, go-to move... Uh, God, a little bit of salsa. Salsa? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm not yeah. mad at that. Yeah, yeah. Um, speaking I got of... Mexican. I got good hips, so. Hey, I, I'm not even going to go anywhere with that one. <laughs> so speaking of Amber, you've credited, um, you know, getting to this point in your life to her. Um, what does it mean to have a strong woman in your corner in such a hectic world? Well, you know, um, I think it just goes about uh, as a kid, you know, um, my mom wasn't really there that much. You know, now that she is, she's a big part of my life now. But when I was younger, mom wasn't really there that much. My dad wasn't really there that much. So I was always a kid of dying for love. Uh, being alone is something I, I hate. Uh, I can't stand it. I mean, even now, I have one of my best friends chilling with me in my room. <laughs> I hate being alone. I'm just, I'm just that type of person. Uh, I got to have people around me. Um, um, and having her with me as my support, uh, you know, every good man has a great woman right next to him, and uh, she is that woman, you know, uh, someone who I respect, someone who um, challenges me every day um, and makes me a better man every day, uh, who loves my kids as her own, and I couldn't ask for anything more, you know. I'm not 20, more, 20 years old anymore, I'm not 30 years old anymore, you know, I'm 40 now, um, I'm grounded, I'm settled. My most important thing in the world is having my children happy. And when my kids are happy, I'm happy. So you know, I, I got to credit her a lot to that. You know, I could have gone out and picked any girl I want, and I, I, I picked a girl who I've known for over 17, 16 years. Um, oh, wow. I've known her for a long time, you know, and we're just friends at prior. Uh, because, you know, I was married at the time, you know, she was married, and, uh, and then I got a divorce, and I think she got a divorce, and then, <laughs> you know, we uh, talked to each other here and there, and then me and Jenna got together, and we had children, and then and, uh, she got married again, and then I got single, um, she went through a divorce, and timing was everything, I think, you know, uh, we hung out, we started talking, and, you know, I went on a, a date with her, um, and she was on the phone, and she hung up, she said, yeah, I love you too, Good, uh, bye, and I was like, oh, oh, oh who are you talking to? She said, oh, I was, I was talking to my mom. I was like, your mom? Your mom, wow, cool, yeah, she wanted to make sure I was okay, I go, that's really cool. Go to dinner, got done, she goes, oh, okay, uh, I love you too, and I was like, wow, who are you talking to? She goes, I was talking to my dad, she goes, yeah, I talk to him every day, and I was like, okay, cool, talk to her mom every day, talk to her dad every day. Some good qualities about a woman, that's someone who has a family value with her, and uh, it hasn't changed. Uh, it's amazing. Like I said, the way she teaches my kids like her own, um, I'm very, very thankful and I give a lot of credit to her for sure. Definitely. Huge blessings. You know, a fight of this magnitude. How do you guys keep it fresh while you're on the road or in the gym? Uh, FaceTime. FaceTime? FaceTime all the time. Every day. I'm FaceTime with my... No, no sex, not yet. I, I, I got to chill for a week. You know, I, I've always kept that through my whole career. I, I got to chill for a week. Uh, let my testosterone build and get meaner and meaner and meaner. Uh, but Saturday, you know, uh, I get my gold. Um, Goes down. It'll, 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 it'll. Now, speaking of Saturday, you've been, you've been known to walk out to a mashup of Eminem records. Um, why Eminem, and have you ever met Eminem before? Um, I met Eminem once uh, when I was, I don't want to say younger, uh, when I was the champ uh, for UFC. I was on tour with uh, Korn, and they're on tour Good with, uh, gosh, well, they're on tour with Up and Smoke tour, and it was just a crossing, you know. I, it's Eminem, and one of the guys in, that I knew that was uh, security and introduced me to Eminem, was just like more of a handshake and passing by, and that was it. Yeah, he's a pretty simple guy. Uh, very simple guy. He's very likes to be alone, uh, yeah. which is understandably uh, he's a huge star. Um, but just his story, his stories of his raps, uh, the things he's gone through, uh, I associate a lot of things myself with. Um, I, I just I, I listen to the lyrics. I listen to the things, and it just 
motivates me to be, uh, uh, I don't want to say a, a better man, it just makes me uh, understand that I've gone through shit and, and, and I can achieve a lot of great things in life as he does himself. Um, do you know what song you're going to walk out to this I'll be walking out to Mosh again. I, I just, I, I listen to the lyrics and they, they, they mimic everything that I believe in, everything that I feel. Um, you know, uh, uh, fathers came over the fatherless past uh, and someone who's gone through hell and, and helped this in, in, in his realm it's been music in my realm it's MMA to help it where it is today and um, I know I listen to the lyrics and that'll be the song awesome. as always now you've also stated that if you weren't a fighter you would be a high school teacher yes. um, as we all know no matter what your circumstances are a teacher is a labor of love so I want to know is that something you consider after you're done fighting is to maybe go and teach or is that you know has that boat sailed so uh, here's a story behind that one so um when i was in high school and i wrestled uh I, wrestling was my savior that was my savior in my life for sure and uh i wanted to become a wrestling coach and a resource teacher to help kids that were not uh, mentally disabled kids but just the kids who were didn't want to show up for school didn't want to do the homework the trouble some host, the kids who had trouble at home and everything because right. I was one of those kids and there was a teacher who gave back to me Tom Wyam and uh, I wanted to get that same opportunity so I went to college I got my A degree um, and I went to, for my bachelor's degree I had about a semester left and ended up dropping out and started fighting you know, there's a whole story behind that because of the coach uh, but if there was a chance for me to go back, yeah, I'd probably go back. But, you know, they make shit money. <laughs> right. Zero. Um, you know, I, I have a lifestyle I gotta keep for my kids. And to maintain, <laughs> keep for my kids. Uh, but I, I don't know, possibly, you know, of course, being a coach, being right. a wrestling coach is something I'd love to do. Um, for your kids? Yeah. For my kids, they wrestle now. They're six. My son Jacob's 13, and he's a stud. But he's already a straight A student, so he's doing great himself. Um, but I really think about uh, I'm helping more kids as being a fighter right now and speaking out in a volume instead of in a classroom with 20, 30 kids. So I think I'm doing my job hand over fist like no other. Um, and I'm an Aquarius, man, to the T. I'm not a fighter. I'm not a guy that likes conflict. I don't like conflict at all, but I love to co I love to compete. I'm a com competitor. I love to compete. And I think that's why I've taken fighting uh, by the horns is um, I love to compete and see how great I it really can be. Nice. Now tell everybody out there in Radio Land why they should watch you on Bellator this Saturday on Spike. Why should they watch? You want to watch history being set? History be made um, as I beat Liam McGarry Saturday night when I win that world title. I've done everything I possibly can to prepare for this fight, and uh, I'm ready for war. When my hand's raised, I know it's done for a reason. What's up? I'm Tito Ortiz, and you're getting plugged with AC the Plug and Radio 1.